Have you ever wondered just how the heat gets into your ducting system so that way you remain warm in the winter months and also keeping your tank fluid? Hi, I'm Gary Conley and I'm going to explain your heat ducting system to you today. When you think about how heat is distributed in an RV, it's much like your house. In order to have a quality RV that is heated properly, it's really important that the heat get distributed equally, otherwise you create hot and cold spots within the RV. Therefore, your thermostat and things keep cycling while you remain either cold or hot in the bedroom and either cold or hot maybe in the bathroom or in the dinette area. So in specific, what Lance does is that we install ducts, which I'll show you here, which are actually these outlets, very similar to like a register that you'd find at your house, that allows heat to be distributed into key areas to keep the flow of air throughout your RV. So now what we're going to do is we're going to step over and we're going to look at a few of the different areas which we duct heat to. I'm sitting here on the production line just trying to illustrate exactly what we do at Lance here to get heat distribution properly. One of the main things that people are really concerned about is that do we have a four season RV? And we talked previously about what a true four season RV is, but at Lance we have an Alaska tested tough system. And by that what I mean is that we actually duct heat into three different areas um, within the camper floor. Now at Lance, we start building our product upside down on the camper line, and therefore we run our ducts inside of the basement. Then we connect it to the furnace later. And as you can see here, we have two ducts that are going into the um, holding tank area, and a third here. Sometimes on most RVs, they only have three total ducts, but with the special Atwood furnace that we use, it allows us to duct air independently into each cavity directly off the furnace, therefore we get a great airflow and the proper heat that you're looking for. Um, we also duct heat right onto your water pump as well as your valves because a lot of times if the valves are frozen, even though your tanks might be fluid, um, you, you will not be able to drain your tank. It's kind of like having a cork in a bottle. So at Lance, with our heat system, if you're warm inside, your tanks are warm as well so therefore your tanks will always be fluid. This is why we recommend that you can go to into sub-zero temperatures and have fluid tanks provided that your furnace is running. Right now we're standing right beside the heater just getting ready to show you exactly how the heat is basically ducted and distributed. As you'll see inside here, and I'll point inside, is that you have a multitude of ducts that are going to specific areas. This allows us to basically put heat to where it needs to go. Um, our furnaces are basically an Atwood furnace <clears throat> and one safety feature about the Atwood furnace is that the burner assembly in here is located down behind here and then your air distribution is the top. And what's good about this is that this panel here allows for all your carbon monoxide and things to stay here and it doesn't mix with your airflow. So it's a, it's a safety feature within this furnace. Not all furnaces have this, but the Atwood does. So just want to point that out while I'm standing here. But again, remember. The amount of labor and time that it takes to duct this heat to make you warm inside during the winter months and things is critical to the performance of your RV. And I'm sure you'll attest that nobody wants to have those hot spots and cold spots within an RV. Um, if, you're sur if your furnace basically cycles up and down, uh, what are you doing is you're basically burning up uh, battery power, which means that you know, it's less time that you can dry camp and utilize uh, the furnace and, and remain comfortable when you're camping. So this allows us for high efficiency of the furnace through the distribution of hot air to where it's needed. Now we're going to step inside and I'll show you the rest of the unit. I'm here inside of one of our bathrooms, inside of one of our campers, and one thing I want to illustrate is that we do duct um, a heat duct into the bathroom. Now you might say, gee Gary, that's nice, but do you realize that we're one of the only manufacturers that actually ducts heat into the bathroom? Think about it, if you have to get up in the middle of the night and you're walking, it's nice and warm inside of the RV, and you're walking into the bathroom, what happens? You're stepping onto a cold floor. Very unpleasant. This way, if your furnace is on, your temperature is relatively going to be the same inside of the unit as it is inside of the bathroom area. But when we take this to a real life application, let's say you're a hunter, or it's raining outside, or maybe you have wet bathing suits and like that, and um, it gets chilly at night because you're surfing or whatever your hobby might be. What's nice about this Lance product is, is that we install an additional closet rod that goes across the area here. 
Now all those wet items can basically be hung up inside of the bathroom here and then with the heat duct it's actually drying your clothes. So therefore what happens is that all the water, if it's dripping, right, it's going to go down to the drain and it goes right down inside of uh, your holding tank. So if you're a hunter and you got wet boots or you're a motocross rider and you have dirt and things like that, you want to wash off your boots, or maybe it was muddy out and they're just wet, you can actually set them in here, they'll warm up and then they're ready to go. All you skiers and snowboarders, this is a huge benefit to you. Let's step into the main area now and see what else we have to offer. Now heat distribution again as I've been talking about is, is quite important. You'll notice up here in the cab over bed that we have a heat register up at the top here. And it's also mounted high because a lot of times if heat is going to rise, we're actually taking air and we're circulating it around the top. So as hot air rises from the bottom of the camper up, it kind of meets in the center where your um, thermostat is going to be. So therefore your thermostat isn't cycling on and off your furnace all the time. Uh, really important. And um, again, this has been tested down to uh, sub-zero temperatures and people are more than warm. So a lot of people with snowmobile and things like that, uh, they give us rave reviews about our heating system. So, but while I'm up here, you can see there's kind of a shiny thing that I'm sitting on. This here is actually an insulated bed cover because uh, we do use an inner spring mattress in our campers. And um, what this allows it to do is that if it's really cold outside, you don't have cold air transmitting through the floor of the camper onto the springs because sometimes the top of the mattress because of the metal on springs as an example can get cold. This actually adds extra insulation into the bed area um, which keeps you a lot warmer and therefore you might not wake up with a stiff back or anything like that. Um, something that is unique to Lance again because again it's a lot of the hidden details that, that you don't see in a Lance product in the way that we insulate. Um, along with our heat ducting system that gives you an RV that can be used in any type of weather or climate. So we're going to sit down now and uh, talk about some other areas. As we step inside of one of our Lance campers, um, you'll notice that down on the floor area here we have uh, three heat ducts. And I'm just going to kind of point it out here. You have two which are here and one more over here. Now what this does again is that it keeps the heat uh, flowing and it keeps the air circulating so it's basically it kind of creates a not quite a tornado effect but a, a, an airflow that starts to basically uh, bounce around and as the heat starts to rise you'll notice that it gets up kind of in your sitting area and almost to where your cab over bed is and the air that's coming out of the heat duct up on top is actually kind of meeting in the middle and again where the thermostat is so thermostat location is very important and I'm going to step away and uh, show you that but one thing I just want to remind you is that so far what you've seen is that you've seen anywhere between seven to eight heat ducts in all of your Lance product. Some of our competitors only have two and a lot of them are just placed in a situation like this. So you can imagine that if a competitor's product is an example, if your heat is coming straight up and their thermostat is located directly across from that, what happens to, your, to the heat? It goes on and it goes off. But this system that we have your heat is flowing across the whole entire unit, including your holding tanks, which allows you to have a very warm and comfortable unit. I'm standing here next to our thermostat, and I want to explain something to you about our thermostats. First of all, our thermostats control both our air conditioner and our furnace. And it's real simple to use in that you'll just reach over, you'll turn this to heat, set your temperature, and the camper will keep you warm right at that temperature or cool uh, with the air conditioner. Now something else that is really special about uh, some of our campers that we build is that we have a two-stage furnace in there and what that does is that it burns at 15,000 BTU on low and 22,000 BTU on high. A lot of RVs have one furnace and if you've owned an RV before when the furnace clicks on in the middle of the night it sounds like a freight train is running right through the center of your camper. When you, when the, with this intelligent thermostat that we have and furnace in combination what it does is that it turns on low and therefore it's, real, it's a low fan and it doesn't sound like there's even anything happening. So you can have an enjoyable night's sleep, warm and comfortable inside of your Lance product. As you can see we've reviewed a lot of areas about our heating system. One thing that you might want to consider as I wrap up on our heating system is, is that we pay a lot of attention to detail, we think about you the consumer and where you're going and we want to make sure that you're always comfortable in whatever and wherever you travel. So therefore, when we do these things, you got to remember that, you know, the expense to do this is quite expensive. The engineering time that it takes to put this together is uh, quite challenging 
to accomplish all these things that we're looking at doing. But quality and comfort are two of the most important things with the Lance product. And therefore, that's what we're giving to you in Lance. I'm Gary Conley. Thank you for watching. Thank you.